So we're talking about cyberbullying bullying and online bullying. And uh, for a very long time now, we've seen personalities across the country and even across the world get bullied by people on social media. You can, you know, uh, blame social media and the onset of technology, the expansion of technology, and how common it's become now as the reason why a lot of people are being bullied. But is it even right to have such ill-mannered attitudes on social media where people don't care about your mental health, they don't care how this affects you in any other way, whether they're destroying your relationship with other people, they really don't care. All they want is to chase clout, which is what people say on Twitter um, especially. And if you're talking about cyberbullying, Twitter and Facebook, that's where you find a lot of the trolls. And, you know, I remember there was a time where uh, there were some people who tweeted and said that, yeah, these people have just one CD. They come on Twitter and they tweet and disappear. And so why should you even be worried about this? But whether we like it or not, as long as there's social media, as long as technology um, is being expanded to the extent that we're being told that many more young people are using the Internet and have access to smartphones, then we should expect that for some reason there will be some form of bullying but is it right should we encourage it can we encourage more young people to use the internet responsibly just so they can also help protect um, you know the mental health of the many people on social media and if we talk about personalities the list is endless from Lady J herself who's talking about social media and its effect on her brand I'm sure she will share her story to so Eno Baroni who recently released a song and she in an interview told Giovanni that it was because of body shaming and online bullying that led her to release that song we can talk about Wendy Shea, the late Ebony Reigns also had her fair share of cyber bullying as well, and so many other people. Is it healthy? It is not. And I'll take you to a tweet that was recently put out by Efia Odo. She's one of the people who's been trolled so badly on social media, and it led her to want to deactivate her account. Let's go back and read that, and I'll give you some um, statistics on cyberbullying before I introduce my guest this morning. So this is a tweet that was put out by Efia Odo on the 3rd of June, 2021. And she said, I'm strong AF, and I'm sure you know what AF means, but... It's hurtful when you tag me with all these names. A footballer is in town and y'all keep saying that I'm going to be the first person that he bleep. I'm here putting my life at risk for a better Ghana. And all you all do is attack me and make me feel like crap. SMH, you are one. And you see, when people put out these kinds of tweets after enduring cyberbullying for so long, that's when other people come out and say, oh, we were just joking and we didn't mean to make these comments. We didn't think they were hurtful and distasteful. But you see, at that point where you're passing that comment, you don't care about the person's mental health. So a lot of people describe these shows as hypocritical because after they've done the damage and people come out and speak about, you know, being victims of cyberbullying, now they come out and say, we're sorry, we love you, and we didn't mean to do this. But maybe for a few other, she would just tweet. What about that person who will take his or her life as a result of cyberbullying? Let's go now to the statistics and read a bit. Don't worry, my guests will join us shortly and we'll have that conversation. So it says that cyber stalking, actually, uh, the bully continuously stalks the activity of the victim sending texts and photos frequently and thereby posing a serious threat to the latter safety. And this is one form of cyberbullying. So it's not just about the comments that you make, but even when you're stalking someone so much and it's uncomfortable, that's a form of cyberbullying. Then we have trolling, where some people, uh, well, while some trolls will come, we come across while scrolling through our social media timelines are only mildly teasing and maybe even uh, making funny comments. Many others might be demeaning to the character or to the public image of those featured in the post and then the third method of cyber bullying we'll take a look at that is impersonation exactly so here the bully takes on the identity of the victim and not only divulges very personal details such as their address and phone number but also posts slanderous content to insult and defame the victim these are three methods of cyberbullying. And I'm sure you're nodding like Lady J is because you probably might have experienced one form or the other of cyberbullying. Share your story with us. We want to hear from you. How have you, um, you know, uh, ended up as a victim or how have you even ended up trolling other personalities thinking that it's just for fun and it's just for clouds but in actual words or uh, in actual fact you didn't know that you were doing something that would affect the mental health of that person lady j is a ghanaian song she's very very talented she joins us from a brochure although you it's a saying 
What's happening? Hi guys, I'm fine. You're good, good morning, eh? Ghana. Good morning. It's I'm good very to see fine. you. I'm happy. You are. I see that. Marriage is good, huh? It's very good. And anyway, also joining us is Enno Baroni. And I mentioned earlier that she mentioned just about a week ago that she released a song to address uh, cyberbullying and also to talk about how she has suffered, um, you know, under the, the, the hands of trolls on social media. Enno, good morning to you. Hello, good morning. Dara. How are you, dear? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good, thank you. Are you in Kumasi? No, I'm in Accra. Oh, you're in Accra. Good to see you this morning. You look really well. Bibi Aboko. Bibi Aboko. I yeah. see. Okay. I'll start off with you, Eno, because you mentioned that you released this particular song, uh, Heavy Load, uh, and you said it was inspired by body shaming on social media. Tell me your story. Mm -hmm. How bad has it been? Okay, so um, I was new to social media when I started doing uh, music. Mm. And then, I mean, you know how sometimes big artists will take your songs and your pictures to get you, like, some of the yeah. numbers they have. So, somebody posted a picture of me and him, and he was like, watch out for this badass rapper, she's so dope. Mm. And people were like, did we even focus on the rapper aspect he was talking about? And everybody started talking about my weight. And, oh, she's ugly. Oh, she's not nice. Oh, she has no makeup. Oh, mm. she's this. So, it, it hits me. I was like, is this how it's going to be? Because one person tweeting about me and I thought I was going to be famous and it's mm -hmm. just about trying and all those things. So it didn't end there. Anywhere I go when I dress up to any red carpet events or anything, people are like, oh, she's too fat. When I do a video, you see people commenting about the video. I can't even influence myself. Like any time I post a picture, people were just trolling and all that. But I, it got to a point where I was able to overcome all those things. And then I felt like I'm not the only person who is plus size in this country mm. or in the world. Mm. And there are people who also look up to me and all that. So why don't I do a song for these people? If I've been able to overcome it, let me also do a song for them to also love themselves. And before, that's what I did. before overcoming it, I'm sure that you yeah. also felt a certain way. You were disheartened yeah. because of the comments. Tell me about yeah. that process. I mean, that moment when you felt like, okay, I thought this was going to be good, but now I feel yeah. way depressed. I mean, it, it, what was it, it was like? There was a point where I was not really posting pictures because mm. I felt like if I'm going to post this picture, people are going to talk. So I was not even concerned on social media. If I go for events, I always dodge direct carpets. I was always dodging bloggers. I, I didn't want to appear in anything. Mm. That was what I was just doing. It was like it was hurtful. Yeah. I, I was new to it. Mm -hmm. And it was so sad. People don't know the things they say actually go a long way. Yeah, human. Yeah. Would and you yeah, cry? Would you cry everything. sometimes? Yeah, there are some times where I cried. I tried doing everything possible, like for people not to like say all these things to me. What did you do? I was trying to lose weight. And the funny thing is when I lost weight, the same people came to my page and were like, oh, when you slim up, it's not nice. Oh, my <laughs> and word. And I was like, ah. you, you know, human beings, everything you do, they talk. Some people were bullying me to the extent that they were even saying, um, you know, the way I talk, mm -hmm. like, I you list, you know, yes. my pronunciation, like, yeah. when I speak and I say S, it doesn't sound like how everybody mm -hmm. says it. So, it's bad. It's not nice. Go and fix the gap in your teeth. Like, they wow. say all these things. And and I was born with these things. Like, this is me. I can't change the way I talk with my tongue. Like, how do I change that? Mm. So, it, I had to embrace myself and love myself. Was there a time you wanted to give up on music, probably because you didn't like how you were being treated? Well, um, when I wanted to give up on music, I didn't, I didn't want to give up on music based on body shaming and all these things. I felt like I was crawling in the industry and was not getting to where I wanted at that point, and so I wanted to give up. Oh, but it, it all amounted to that because the energy that people were using to throw me, this same energy was used to support my music. It would, have, mm. it would have been different. Yeah. But people actually have time to comment about 600 comments mm -hmm. over a dress, over a makeup, mm -hmm. over the way I speak, over yeah. my weight, over my color, without focusing on what I was giving them at that point. Mm. So I think when you love yourself, when you make people feel like, no matter what you say, this is me, take it or leave mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I mean, the real fans will stay with you.
Okay, I'll come back to you, but let me go to Lady J now to also tell me her story. I mean, what led you to even release social media in the first place? Well, um, everybody's on social media. So mm. for me, that was a marketing strategy first. Mm. And secondly, I am also someone who has gone through this whole social... I've been on social media since High Five, my mm -hmm. space. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know? <laughs> 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 And basically, for me, me, my experiences have been different and brutal in different ways. Is it? And yeah, brutal. A couple of years ago, I was um, assaulted and beaten up by my manager in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And um, on social media, this one I'm posting, I'm giving it to them. On Twitter, mm -hmm. they said, allegedly... Yeah. It's the same. How can I allegedly be beaten up when I'm in the hospital? Yeah. So these people made their own story. Some people are saying, oh, she's even sleeping with the manager. That's why. They, they, they. Plenty, plenty things. And, you know, the difference with me is me, I wanted to be hard. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a hard person. So I kept everything inside. Mm -hmm. Every time somebody will say something, I'll keep it inside and I'll go and tell maybe Effia. Yeah. And if you will be like, oh, lady, don't mind them, you know. And I'll be keeping it, keeping it, keeping it inside. But then I think there was one incident where, like, uh, a group of girls on Twitter decided that they were going to come for me. Hey. For what they reason? Said, oh. they, they said that I can't be better than if you are. I'm whack. I can't sing. I should stop. Yeah, I remember I that time. Singing. Yeah, you hey. were being compared to if you a lot. Jesus Christ. I could not believe it. And mind you, I had been keeping all these things inside because I've been told, oh, let us go on your share. Oh, let us go. So then I think I left for Canada. Mm -hmm. And when I got to Canada, everything that was inside me Erupted. was coming out. Yeah. Yeah. How was it, was it coming out? Was it like, were you crying? Did you break down? Severe depression, severe depression, severe anxiety. If wow. you know what anxiety is, severe one, the one where you can't even sleep. Wow. Because in your mind, you're here, you're reading all these things and you're thinking to yourself, oh, this is, this is who I am. Maybe I should stop singing. Or maybe they said, I, I, I can't be better than my sister. If yes, I should stop, you know, let me just lay down. Let me just let them walk all over me. Because mm. what was happening is the people that were always around her, especially the ones that were trying to be competitive mm -hmm. with me and her, mm -hmm. they were the ones who are causing the trouble, always have something to say, oh, you're ugly, oh, your dress is not nice, oh, your boyfriend is not handsome, oh, you think your boyfriend owns the club, so what, oh, get out from here. You know, all those things. You would feel like, oh, me, they don't mind them, but mm. it did do, yeah. it will enter you, yeah. and it will hurt you. And if you don't get help, I don't know about them, no. How? About them, kakra. So, yes, so what kind of help crazy. did you seek? I mean, at that point where you we were depressed, how long was it and what did you do? Me, it took me three years. Okay, I'll, I wouldn't say I'm still going through it. It took me, let's say, three to four years to feel like I'm back to myself because what happened is after I got assaulted mm. and I, nobody believed me and everybody, not, not nobody because I had my gang dumps, I had my girls, you know, yeah. who were there for me, whatever, but then... The masses, even, mm -hmm. I'll say this on TV3, the, 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 the Ministry of Women's, yeah. you know, those abuse yeah. things. Yeah. I went to their office. They you went didn't to Dove mind Sue. me. I went to their office. They didn't mind me. They told me that I was dating my manager. That's why he beats me. It's, it's a house matter. Wait, where, where exactly? And hold on. Where exactly did you go? In head, at first, I went to police, uh, I went to police Station. The day they beat me, I mm -hmm. went there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said I should write the statement. I wrote the statement. I had to go to the hospital because there was blood in, in my eye. I had, like, blood in my eye. Wow. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go to the hospital and collect the... What friend and then? The police statement. The, well, the health that report, says sorry. That, yeah, that says that there is something, like, something yeah. has happened to me. Even that girl, Ghana was saying, ah, that girl... She's trying to do this so she can hit. I was like, Jesus. Oh, that's what people said on social media? <laughs> you won't believe it. 
Even some people were saying I was sleeping with him. Hey, it pained me. It pained me so much, but there, there was nothing I can do because there was nothing. So I became very aggressive, mm. very mentally, physically, after all those things were happening. Yeah. It made me very, very antsy. Like, yeah, that, that was your coping mechanism. Kind of, yes, yes. And it was very bad. When I got to Canada, I realized that that was wrong. So me, I had, I had to go to therapy. People don't know this. How long? I did therapy. I did therapy for almost a year. Wow. A year in, in Canada because it was too much. I had to get a cut. A jamwa cut. Okay, what for? A cut. They said a cut, they take, they take away your... Like if there, there is something bad happening to your spirit, yeah. right? Yeah. Cuts are able to help calm... Oh, I see. You down. So you yes. had to get a pet I, cat. Yes. I had a pet cat. Do you still have the cat. cat? No, I had to leave him in Canada when okay. I was coming back to Ghana okay. because I had to come back to Ghana. Oh, but yeah, wow. it's very painful. It's very, I've been through a lot and now I'm strong enough to, to say it. Even recently, mm. I won the Foresight Music yeah. Award, the mm -hmm. choreography. I went to go and see on Twitter. Somebody said, ah. Who's this girl? We don't know her. Where did she come from? We don't know her song. She doesn't deserve this. They should go and collect it. I was like, eh? But like, what did I do to you? How does that affect your music? Because I've noticed that for some people, well, if they have a broken heart, they sing about it. For some people, it's about what they're going through. Did it affect your music me? in any way? No, no, no. For, for me, I won't let you catch me. That it has pained me. Do you understand? But is that not where the problem <laughs> is? Because you should speak <laughs> up. Uh -huh. But for me, even though I'll speak out small, I don't want them to know that I somehow I can wash me. Mm. Okay, okay. I you know. So in your case, yeah. you were also being constantly compared to the male rappers, and so yeah. I can imagine how that even made it more difficult for you. I don't know how you managed that situation, but tell me about it. And that beef, you know, that whole beef and. It was a lot. Yeah. Tell me I about think, all that. Um, I think I actually developed this kind of spirit where when you actually um, challenge me with something, I always want to live up to it. So I've always been compared to male rappers. And I feel like, oh, there's something good in me because there are lots of female rappers out there, mm. but they are always compared to me. And me being a female, I'm always compared to a guy. Then it means there's something actually good. So let me leave up to it. Because mm. I always want to work hard so that that comparison keeps on going up and up and up. Oh, so yeah, you so saw that as positive. That's what it should be. So, yeah. Did, were you ever scared to post anything on social media at a point because you were scared people would troll you? I mean, I, 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 you know, when it's rap, rap is mostly about bragging, you know, mm -hmm. rap is like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I was even scared about some lyrics because I mean, sometimes when I say some things, people actually um, take it another way and mm -hmm. start pinning me against some people. And then you see the fan base, like, in terms of life and all these things. So there are times where I was even, like, um, seeding some of my lyrics and all those things, just mm -hmm. not to create anything. But then I came to realize that when I'm in my space, I have to believe in myself that this is me. I'm better than anybody. I don't have to believe in anybody mm. first. I have to believe in myself first. So I just forgot about all those things and then I just deliver what I want to deliver. Do you see these trolls as very unhappy people who are trying to extend their unhappiness onto whoever their prey may be on social media? Did you ever think about it that way? I don't think it's just unhappy people doing that. I think it has become something that people think is a norm. Because you norm. see, uh, like, mm -hmm. little kids come mm -hmm. on social media. They have no idea about what you go through or what it, whatever is happening. They just come and, no matter how nice whatever is, they just come and troll you. Sometimes, I, I used to have that energy to, like, go look at who is saying this. Maybe the person knows me or this. And you mm. see, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a child, like, having that account. You were Maybe actually going through all the comments? Things. No, I used to, but right now the comments are too many. I can't. We're star, I we're star. When, when I was like so worried about it at first, I used to go through the comments and I used to go through the pages of the people just to know why the person is saying this and that. Mm. But I realized some are kids. Yeah. Some are like some people. Yeah. They're not even 
like posting anything on social media. They just come and throw you and go. Let me ask you. Mm, yeah. Let me ask you this question now. Even in the case of if you're doing just like how Lady J has said, they were yeah. blaming her for being beaten, and they said it's because you're sleeping with him. Sometimes even mm -hmm. the, the the post that you put up, they'll say, well, if you didn't wear this kind of outfit, I don't think that mm -hmm. anybody would come yeah. and throw you. So yeah. you should also be mm -hmm. mindful of how you act on social media. I'm sure you get that yes. a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a whole lot of people say certain things, and you know. Some people mean well, but they don't know how to um, explain it or, like, let's say, come out with it. You see some people giving you word of advice but end up being even trolled themselves because mm. they don't know how to come out. Yeah. Okay, I think we lost it no, at that point. I'll, I'll just go on oh, to Lady, no. Lady J. It's fine, we'll get it back. Yeah. But then, I mean, what do you also say? Because sometimes they say it's because of how the women dress. I mean, if you didn't come and twerk uh -huh. on social media, we won't come and troll you in the first uh -huh. place. But Bella, you know me. How many times do you see me posting? Even mm. if I post, I post fun things that I like. You yeah. Me? Like it doesn't it doesn't warrant anybody to to feel like they know what's going on in your life. Yeah. And as much as we artists or they call us celebrities, as much as we we act strong and brave, we we have feelings. Mm. So maybe unlike and no, like me too. Before I used to wear a read, but now me I don't even read. Somebody why don't you read? read even, well, I don't have time. Okay. It's not because you're scared of what you might read and no, how no, that no. would and affect plus, you. And plus, I can tell you now that me, I'm not afraid of anybody on social media now. Because now, if you come for me, I will come for you. But is that not together. making it? Are you not compounding the situation because it's like you are giving them... Oh. A reason to want oh, to come no, after no. you because they know you'd respond. But there's two types of coming. No, there's mm. two types of coming. Mm. There's coming for you in in YouTube back to back, and there's coming for you just hacking into your Twitter account and shutting it down. Yeah. Okay. Mm. There's two types. Yeah. So me, I I don't have I don't have time anymore for, but it's it's good like this because that means it's experience. If I hadn't gone through that, I wouldn't like believe in myself and love myself regardless hmm. of what they say. But at the same time, I, have you completely healed? Or do you sometimes feel that anxiety oh, no. and oh, depression? Oh, no. I still have that anxiety. Even social media that we just released a few weeks ago. Mm. When we're about to release the song, that day I was crying. Because I said Ghana people don't listen to the song. The song will blast, mm. as per usual. When I release song, they don't listen. Then they'll tell me that I didn't release song. This past 10 years, at least every time I release something, you know. Mm. But they'll, they'll be there. Then they'll be saying, oh, where did you know of you? I've been there for 10 years. Hmm. Anyway, let's, let's read some messages. It's, it's sad. I mean, you, you might think that it's funny, but these are real life stories. These are people who are going yeah. through so much. And like Lady J said, she was depressed and had to undergo therapy mm. for a whole year. That's, yeah. that's, that's oftentimes sad. we underestimate these things, but yeah. it goes a long way to affect you psychologically, mentally, and even sometimes spiritually. You mm. give up on yourself and you think there's no God. Have you been and, a victim before? Oh, yes. I mean, yeah. we're on social media. Mm. There was one particular person, a particular account. Mm. Every time I posted something, will come and comment, mm. every single time. And at a point, we had to get someone to reply him to know that this thing that you're doing is not right. Stop yeah. it. So what? Is marriage the ultimate in life? Because I am not married, I'm not worthy to be on social media mm. or I can't do anything else in life. And we get that all the time. And it really must stop. Yeah, it it has really, to. yes. It really, it really, really must stop. Because, uh, well, thank you for the messages that are coming. But the nudity that you talked about, some mm. people never expose themselves. Somebody like Eno Baroni. Mm -hmm. will not show any part of her. I haven't seen her, apart from um, her new album that, uh, that yeah. came out and she was breastfeeding. I haven't seen her like that, but why would you want to bully such a person? Um, Lady, Lady J, J is always clad in very long apparels. Why would you want to do that but to her? But they attack her, they, like she said, because they compare her to a fear. Why and so it's you, always that comparison. Why should you do that? Yeah. But, but we haven't gotten in, into her personal life, but Lady J, you're here. Maybe if, I know she's friends with a fear, but maybe a fear was somebody that she was looking up to at that time. And you know how when you like somebody, you want you to sound want like to. them, you want to dress like them sometimes. It's not like you want to be like them. Mm. 
mm -hmm. but you just pick some things that you love about the person and we all do it all the time but anyway let me get to some um, comments there's one that's interesting that that has your name in it i'll get to that soon but the first one says i am misty m a broadcast journalist from kumase please ask eno baroni what prompted her to sing the song nyame ye oba mm. second one says i am isaac otia pia watching you from kumase uh, I think if some of the female celebs dress decently, the rate at which they get bullied will reduce. Another person too says the nudity is too much, let's be honest. And then this one is what I was talking about. It says, oh, sorry. I never knew teasing is also cyberbullying. I am so sorry calling Bella Mundi Teshi Beyonce. Oh, but that's not bullying. That's not bullying, no. yeah. Then you're not getting the conversation. She, yeah, you're, you're, you're clearly not getting the conversation. Whiskey. Okay, so you whiskey the king from La Paz, you may want to pay a bit more attention to what we are talking about. I mean, <laughs> we, all of us call um, Bella Teshi Beyonce yeah. something. Did you even pick that name yourself? Or Giovanni, something? who else? So it was Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like you are attacking her person or yeah. saying she's this or that. I mean, it's a, it's a name we all give to Bella here. So please pay attention so that you can know the difference. This one says, good morning, TV3. You're doing well and more great shows. Thank you. And that came from Baba Abu Abdullah uh, Baseman. I want to understand more about cyberbullying. Okay, just please pay attention and you will get it. Mm. Now, this one says, people just envy the status of public figures for nothing. So they try to tarnish their image and it makes them feel good. The act, which is often envy, is, spe is specifically captured in the Ten Commandments of our Lord. This thing should stop. It's very bad. Just recently, a former AC Milan youth player committed suicide because he was always referred to as a monkey hmm. on social media. It's serious. People need to just stop. Um, and that came, even got frowns on that. And that came from Maunedi uh, Atonsu Kwabre in the um, Kwabre East. Mm. Okay. Now this one says coming. This one is coming from Nana Besajie. Cyberbullying is really bad and must. And people should stop accusing people. It's not good at all. Last two messages. I think we need education on how to use the internet because a lot of citizens do not know the impact of bullying somebody on the internet. Okay, whiskey, whiskey, the same whiskey sent in that one. And the last one says, I am Kobe Amount inside to whom is Suboy. Cyberbullying, dear. I think Twitter is the number one. Oh my God, Twitter. Mm, Just mm, like Lady J mentioned, yeah. they can roast you on Twitter. It's and that's crazy. why most of us don't even play there too much because mm. the least thing you say, they carry it and it really, really gets out of proportion yeah. almost all the time. That's so these true. are the messages that came in this morning. Thank you so much for sending them. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Cookie. But I also want to talk about, you know how Lady J mentioned that she went to the police station. For some reason, they said it's her fault. Uh, I guess I have to speak into this camera. It's her fault that she was assaulted by her manager. That is wrong on all levels. I mean, I don't even know why anybody, but it's not the first time. I remember that we spoke to a young lady here on the show and she narrated her ordeal after she was raped. And she went to the police station and she said they were asking her so many questions. Okay, yeah, they wanted them. Why were you there? I mean, how can we don't see any, you know, bruises on you? Because that's the only way we can ascertain that you have been raped. So maybe we have to start looking at how our authorities also handle some of these situations as well. But even before authorities, I want to find out your friends, your family, did they know? I mean, obviously, they knew that you were being trolled on social uh, media. But did anybody extend any help to you, advise you on what to do to avoid or to at least manage the situation, Lady J? Me, I'll tell the truth. Mm. I don't lie. Because today I have to tell the truth. Mm. The truth is this. Some of them will say, oh, it's okay. Some of them will pretend like they care. Mm. Some of them will send you emoji. When you, you are in that moment, you are trying to, you are going to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have sent them, oh, come and help me. I'm losing it. They'll send you emoji. Emoji, mm. smiley. What wow. do you have here? So it got to a point where me, I felt like there's no point in telling anybody because mm. nobody cares. Mm. Nobody cares. People say they care. And the thing is, like, something like this, how are you going to explain it to your mother? Like me, I used to explain it to my mother that, like, yo, mommy, mm -hmm. my breath, my fna, my fna, my breath, like, I'm tired. Mm. I used to explain it to her. She didn't understand. She's like, ah, you just have to pray, you know, if you pray, everything will be okay. But it wasn't okay. I was losing my mind. And I, and I didn't want to go on Twitter. 
Because I know that if I go there and I write one thing, it will turn to hundred things. And if I tell the people the most that I love, they will not really care because they'll say, oh, don't just, just let's go. Yeah. But me, it affected me. I wanted to die. I wanted wow. to die. Was there ever a point where you wanted to take your life because of this? Yes. I've done it twice. You've attempted suicide twice. twice. Yes, because I wanted to stop the music. I said, what was the point? What's the point in doing this music if every time nothing is going to come out of it? What's the point? You know, it, 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 it got me to that point. But I'm saying this now because I've, I've passed it. Yeah. Somebody who was able to help me was my now husband. Mm. You get me? How did he help I'm you? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay um, to cry. I mean, one minute. I just need tissue. Um, all right, no problem. He told e me. No, yeah, okay. You're, yeah, go, go. Yeah, yeah let me just go, go to Eno whilst you. Eno, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, oh, Lady J got me my feelings. Who helped you through all these moments? Did you have friends? Did you have family that reached out to you that tried to hold your hand as you walked through those very dark moments? My, I think my management, my management did a very good job at that time because um, they realized that I was not okay with all those things that I hear and see. So um, there was constant like meetings in my house, like you know they tried to cheer me up, talk to me and all. And then uh, there was a point where I was hosting a program on a drum mm. uh, The hosting of the program is something that I just love to do because it was like just taking everything away mm. from my head and then oh so you decided you resorted to being what a media personality instead of a rapper is that what you're saying no i wasn't doing it instead of you know rap is something i love doing okay but then because of those things it was actually taking it away from me because i was always thinking about what people say so i was hosting as a hire, which was also a rap mm -hmm. thing okay and then because of that when i see young people coming coming to do rap it was always putting me on my toes like i need to rise more yeah. and then when those people came i saw the same people who believe me and stuff like not the same people but people who bully people also mm. calling the program and also write on facebook bullying them and i felt like you know, they are they were looking after me what do i have to tell them i have to be in the position exactly. where have to advise these people. Mm. So if me myself, I'm not learning and not like considering myself, say I'm bigger than what is happening on social media. How do I advise those people? And so like being there for a year was like it was therapeutic for me because it's like I had to overcome my fears and teach people the right mm. way, like how to overcome all these critics and also love yourself. Yeah. And it helped me so much. Do you really love yourself, you know? Do you really yeah. have you learned to love yourself with all your flaws, regardless of what people say? Yeah, I have. I have so much. Like me being able to even bring the heavy load song at that time, mm. I loved myself. And then you can see that when I did heavy load, every plus size girl that was on social media just took this song and did videos. When you go on TikTok, after now heavy load is always trending. Mm. Like people yeah. are just using the song to do videos, loving themselves, dancing to it and all. So and now you really don't care when people write all those things? No, 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 no. I don't really pay attention to negative stars. I mean, I need the positivity to move on. Negative stars will just throw you down. So I don't really pay attention to negative stars. You can never do away with the truth. They will keep coming, but you mm. just have yes. to win. You're going forward and this is what, it's part of the game. It has to come. Yes. We have to find a solution to it, but let me go to Lady J. So what about you? How do you feel about yourself, about your music? Are you scared when you're about to release a song because you feel like these trolls are going to come after you again? Now, no, because I'm, 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 I'm like at another level, like my energy, mm -hmm. I'm vibrating at an, a different level. Now, no. I mean, now I do any music I like. Mm. I release music when I like, when I want, because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be making my money. Mm. I don't necessarily make a lot of money from Ghana, but I make a lot of money from all over the world. Okay. Especially Japan. They like is my it? music. Yeah, so this is some of the things that as I kept doing the music, because even though I wanted to stop, there was a part of me that said, lady, this voice is inside you. No matter mm. what you do, you can't stop. Mm. You just have to keep going. So I just kept going, but what I did is, 
with the help of my husband, I started believing in myself. Okay. I started believing that I am enough. Mm. Mm. I started believing that um, even if people don't see you as that, you are enough. And then not only my husband, also Effia. Effia helped me a lot. Okay. Effia makes me strong mentally. She mm. makes me a strong woman. How does she do it? What does she do? Effia, she can just say, maybe, baby, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. So she tries that's to be there for, for you. Yeah. Yes. And you see, even when people, that's one thing I realized after a long time, people can compare me and people can con com 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 be contrast, doing this, yes. trolling me. Yeah. But they don't know the relationship I have with her. And that is something they can't touch. Mm. No matter what they do. Do you understand? Yeah. So all these things have helped me be a better person and just focusing on me and just focusing on me. If you stop, if somebody insults you and you don't mind them, that's it. But I mean, before you can insult me, because I'm aggressive in nature, I'll come and insult you back. Do you understand? Yeah. But now it's more relaxed because here yeah, I'm not stressed. I'm just, I'm making music. I love it. Is it one of the uh, reasons you left Ghana? Um, yeah, not really. I left Ghana because my husband wanted to relocate here. Oh, okay. Back okay. to his okay. home. All but right. I'll come and be visiting you people. Don't We've worry. missed you. Hurry up and come. But if you have to, um, you know, propose a solution to this mm -hmm. problem, this mm -hmm. menace on social media, how do we address it? What can we do? For me, I really don't know. You see, mm. I don't know. Ghana is not America where in America somebody will pull up and shoot you. Pam, pam. You said I'm ugly. It's not yeah. like that. So I, I pray we don't get like, there. Yeah, yes. I pray that we don't. I really, really don't know. But for any artist out there, even even Eno, mm. like what we are doing is the best. Just focus on you. Try and avoid. For me, I avoid reading the comments. My assistants normally read the comments, and okay. then you'll be like, "Oh, lady, this bit," and I don't even want to hear. It. So yeah. try and avoid the negative vibes. Build your craft. Keep mm. working because even if people in Ghana don't like your music. There's people in other places in the world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who will like your craft. And just believe in yourself. Believe like in yourself, mm -hmm. definitely. Eno, what about yeah. you? Propose a solution to government. How do we address yeah. this? I think we do the music for the fans. I mean, without them, we would have been playing the music in our house. So mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. the critics, they will come. But, um, you know, some people actually want to make your point, but you can make your points without insulting. Because some of the things these fans come to say, if you actually pay attention to it, sometimes it shapes you to, in, a, in a way. Because mm. maybe you are not actually doing something right. And so when your management actually pays attention to all these things, it helps. But then people should actually know how to make points like talking to people without insulting, without trolling, and without mm. saying all these things. Because a human being is just like you are. And if somebody insults you, maybe if I was your sister, you won't come on social media saying anything to me. Because I'm not from your family, you think when you insult me, it doesn't get to me. I'm yeah. human. The fact that I'm a public figure doesn't give you the right to just say anything you want to me. Yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for speaking to us this morning. And I really do hope... Mm -hmm. I really do hope that for everybody who's been watching this morning, anyone who watch it later, if they've ever bullied anyone online, this will uh, be enough for them to know that it is absolutely wrong to do that. And really, don't think about the clout you're chasing on social media. Think about the person's mental health. You don't want to send someone into depression. And you see, the other aspect is now these same people are even afraid to come out and admit that they're depressed because even that, you will troll them. Lady J, I don't know if you're worried about it, but I mean, yes, it's, it's, it's but scary. See, that's the thing. I'm, past, I'm past it. That's why now I can talk about it. Now, even if they throw me, I don't care. Mm. Metty room. Come and beat me. Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I know that I know that government as well is also doing what it can to ensure that people are protected online, and it's important mm -hmm. that we take it a step uh, or a notch higher so we can do better, um, you know, and protect people, especially these creative people. They put in a lot of work, and not just creative people, even politicians. Sometimes the extent to which they troll some of them, um, you know, some of you might say, but they deserve it. But it's the same way you'd say that an entertainment personality also deserves it because she went half naked. 
we can criticize, mm -hmm. but let's do it constructively. If this is going to also affect the mental health of the person, then maybe we should think twice about it and do something about this. But I do hope that authorities are watching and I know that there's a lot of work that's going into um, you know, cyber crime in the country and what they're doing to ensure that people are protected and we come up with anti-cyber um, bullying laws and all that. So let's look forward to greater things happening. But I, I thank you both so much for speaking to us this morning. I wish you love, I wish you light. And I do hope that we can all get past this. I really do hope so. Thank you. Lady J is a songstress and she has quite a number of songs, one of them being social media recently released to address this particular topic that we are discussing. And Eno Baroni, well, she says God is a woman and uh, she also released Heavy, Heavy Duty, I think that's it. Um, and that was also to address cyberbullying, her personal experience as well. What is your experience? Share with us on social media. Let's get the conversation going and let's draw more attention um, to this particular problem and hope that more young people would respect, um, you know, the people online. And if you have to criticize, just do it without harming the person. Thank you so much.